Hi friends. In the previous four videos of this chapter, we talked about the introduction, then the rack and pinion mechanical steering system and the power assisted steering system and the orbital steering system. Now in this video, I am going to explain about the steering geometry. When we drive any vehicle, it has to give comfort to the driver, safety, a minimum wear of the tires, better fuel economy and long life of the components. These are the main requirements. This is possible only when the vehicle is built with precise steering geometry. So what is the steering geometry? Steering geometry is a geometrical alignment of various steering parts or linkages connected to turning the wheels. Steering geometry comprising five critical parameters. What are those five critical parameters? Let us see. The first one is the camber angle. What is mean by the camber angle? If you see a vehicle from the front, you can observe. The tires of the vehicle are leaned outwards or inwards. Leaned outwards or inwards when you see in from the front side. That is, if you take a draw a vertical line, perpendicular line, line from the ground, and also you take a straight line. To the with respect to the tire width from zero point, whatever whatever this angle is there, it is called the camber angle. So some vehicles will have the positive camber, some vehicles will have the negative camber. If the wheels or tires lean outwards at the top, it is called the positive angle camber. If the tires lean inwards like this is the suspension this is the axle if the tire is lean inwards it is called the negative camber generally the recommended camber angle is 2 to 3 degrees in almost all vehicles or the automobiles except the race cars generally positive camber is maintained only in the race car the negative camber is maintained to give the better cornering stability but of course it has some disadvantages of rapid tire wear negative camber whereas in case of positive camber it is maintained to give the better stability and also when any vehicle is loaded this angle sometimes almost becomes to the neutral you can see this animation here when it is being loaded, the tire is moving inside. So whatever leaning is there outward, when it is loaded, it goes like this inside. This positive camber gets disturbed whenever the bushings or the thrust washers or the bearings, whichever are used in these linkages, gets worn out. So this has to be checked at regular intervals. Any worn out parts are to be replaced. Now we can see very clear about the neutral camber, positive camber, this thing got out. This, see the front side, it is a zero camber, means there is no any leaning either to outward or inward. This is a negative camber, what I told you, which is used in the race cars. Whereas this, you can see the positive camber. Next parameter is the caster angle. What is the caster angle? Now we view the vehicle from the side. It take a straight line perpendicular line from the ground at the tire or wheel is green line and this is the line passing through the kingpin. Inside this wheel is connected to the kingpin of the axle. The kingpin will be like this. When it is viewed from side 
please be remember so the king pin is the king pin or in case of certain vehicles there will be two swivel joints top and bottom the axis of the swivel joints or the king pin axis and this is a straight line whatever the angle is there between these two lines that is a vertical line from the ground level and this line of the steering axis pin this is called the this angle is called the caster angle now i'll tell you if both are in straight like this this is the this is the suspension here the pin will be there this both are in straight line this is called neutral caster if the line passing the steering axis is ahead of the vertical line it is called the positive caster if the line is behind the straight line it is called the negative caster present generation automobiles and cars are built with the positive caster the motorcycles you can see the larger motorcycle forks will be like this so they are built with the larger positive caster angle the main purpose of maintaining the caster is to minimize the fatigue on the driver that is to give the ease and comfort to the driver and another main important this thing is whenever the steering is neutral the tires will come automatically to the straight line okay that is another purpose of maintaining the caster generally the caster will be in the automobiles four wheelers it ranges from 6 to 8 degrees you can see how the caster you can this animation this is central line and the steering axis will be like this i am telling you okay you have to see the difference between the caster and camber the camber is the angle between the perpendicular line from the ground when it is viewed from the front side and the line passing the center of the tire this is the angle the caster angle can be seen when it is viewed from the side of the tires if this is the front side this is the king pin see this is the king pin or the steering axis going like this this is the straight line okay whatever the angle is here this is the caster angle got it if this is forward it is the positive caster if the angle is behind this line vertical line it is a negative caster the third parameter is the king pin inclination this is again viewed from the front side of the vehicle the caster angle has to be viewed from the side of the vehicle this is has to be viewed from the front side of the vehicle this is the king pin this is the tire okay here the axle comes like this okay this is also called the axle inclination certain cases king pin will be there certain cases there will be swivel joint one joint in top and one joint on the bottom which are connected to the wheel hub through the other linkages so this is with reference to the straight line again and the axis of the king pin or steering axis whatever the angle is there from here this is called the king pin inclination angle this is the king pin inclination generally this king pin inclination will be from 6 degrees to 14 degrees this side of the this thing is king pin inclination we have seen earlier by seeing front so there is a camber angle 2 to 3 degrees the total angle is 2 to 3 2 to 3 degrees or plus this 6 to 14 degrees depending upon the machine design or the vehicle design the total angle that is straight line of the tire and also the axis of the king pin or the swivel joint whatever the angle is there between these two lines it is called the included angle you can see the king pin if it is like this this is the caster you can see the difference this is the camber 
this is the king pill in inclination see the difference don't get confused this you are viewing from the front the king pin is inclined like this then when you are viewing from the side the king pin is like this so you go you have seen the camber caster and the king pin inclination king pin inclination cannot be adjusted because it is to the fixed axis of the king pin or this ball joints this get disturbed when the vehicle collided or the vehicle met with the accident so at that time it is required to replace the complete axle unit or to do precise or to adopt the precise method to salvage this affected one incorrect kingpin inclination leads to premature tire wear hard steering and this is another parameter fourth parameter called the scrub radius when we view when we view from the front side of the vehicle imagine this is the straight straight line from the ground that is center line of the tire and this is the kingpin inclination line or the kingpin axis or the steering axis if these two lines meet above the ground level they crossed above the ground level and the distance between these two lines at the ground level is called the negative scrub radius if these two lines meet below the ground level and the distance at the ground level is called the positive scrub radius why the scrub radius is being maintained the scrub radius helps for the stability of the vehicle there is no any specific system it should be negative or positive it can be negative or positive depending upon the steering geometry and the vehicle design this figure represents the another steering geometry parameter towing and tow out when we see from the front if these two tires are front side or inside that is towards the center line of the vehicle it is called the tow in if the tires are away from the center line of the vehicle that is front side this is called tow out what should be maintained tow in or tow out is depending upon the vehicle design steering geometry many parameters however majority of the vehicles maintain tow out the tow out is essential for the stability of the vehicle and for the comfort of the steering operation and the generally the tow in or tow out with reference to this you observe little bit carefully about this figure when any vehicle is steered example the steered here left side if you see the angle difference between the inner and outer vehicles with respect to the straight line this is the straight line here the inner wheel is moved 23 degrees okay whereas the outer wheel is moved 20 degrees so the difference is the 3 degrees tow out as i told you this tow in uh, sorry tow out to certain extent is required for the vehicle stability during the steering and this tow in or tow out can be adjusted as and when required hence the periodical wheel alignment or the steering geometry inspection is essential for the safety stability and the comfort of the driver hope this is useful to you you have any queries you can always contact me through email please share this information to your friends and subscribe to my channel and also get subscribed by your friends